Hi loves, it's Lacey and welcome to our space. So today, like the title says, we're doing a sunflower and butterfly wreath. I'm going to be using this 14 inch wreath form from Dollar Tree, it's in gold, but we are spray painting the wreath form top in this rustic orange from Rust-Oleum two times the paint and primer. I also am gonna be utilizing a ton of different larger leaves in different colors of green that I already had in my stash. These are left over from other projects. And I took some of these leaves and painted them with this Rust-Oleum rustic orange, but it wasn't quite bright enough for me. So you'll see later in the video that I add some apple barrel orange paint in the color. I think it's jack-o'-lantern to them. I'm also going to use the leaves off of the large sunflower that I have here that came from Joanne Fabrics. And I'm making sure that my leaves are different colors. I was going to use this yellow here, but I decided not to. So I am showing you, you can add like yellow to match the sunflower as well. Then we're gonna be using this Buffalo check ribbon that came from Joann's at holiday season. You can see it says holiday. I got it on clearance for like 90% off. So it's a lot of ribbon. I think it's like 25 feet here. We're gonna use um, probably about seven or eight feet, maybe a little bit more of it on this reform. So here is my reform and I spray painted the top of it. You don't have to spray paint the back of it because you won't see it. I'm taking this ribbon, which is one and a half inches, and I'm weaving it underneath the middle two rings of the reform. Those are the only rings we're gonna be using for this ribbon. And then I'm going to go back and forth under and over those two rings and pulling them tight together to weave this ribbon all the way around this reform. When you are done with this, it's gonna kind of look like it's braided in there. I wanna make sure that the two other rings on the outside and the inside of this form are not used at all. I want the rings to be left alone. So I am making sure here that as I weave it in to show you guys how I'm doing this, that the, it's pretty straight. I don't want it to get twisted because I want it all to lay nicely and look like it's braided. You're hardly going to see that it looks like buffalo check at that point. So now here I'm showing you, if you don't like that method, you can just wrap it around those two inner rings so you can see the buffalo check more if you want to do it that way. But I prefer for this particular reef to do it in the braided form because I think it's not going to look as nice as uh, if I just wrap it around. So we're going to go all the way around this reef. I'm not going to make you guys sit here and watch me go over and under and over and under back and forth on this reef form. Now, what I will tell you is I cut off quite a bit of length here to put this on. I'm going to bend over the end just over on one of the middle bars and hot glue it down. I'm just folding it over right here to show you. And then I'm going to start my over and under the two middle ones. Like go through one over underneath the other one and flip it back over and then go over the next one. You know, just over one, under the other, over that one, under the other. I hope that makes sense. You should be able to see what I did the first time. And then I'm just doing it again with a longer piece of ribbon. I wouldn't make my ribbon as long as I did here. I would make it shorter so it's more manageable to work with because you want to kind of keep it straight, like I said before, and not bunch it off or have it all twisted. Because when you push it down, it's going to cover up all of the orange on the two center ones and that's what you want to do you don't want any of the orange showing you just want to see the black and white so i'm not going to make you watch i'm just showing you it again with a longer piece of ribbon that that's what we're going to do all the way around and then once we're done with that this is what it's going to look like and on the back side i just ended it by hot gluing it underneath now like I said before, I didn't use any of the yellow color. I am just tapping on Apple Barrel paint in the color jack o' to make these leaves a little more orange. I didn't like how 
burnt orange they look. They weren't bright enough for the orange color that's in the sunflower. So I'm showing you here that I'm tapping it on, like dabbing it and stippling it on. So I don't have like brush marks and stuff on it. You can do it any kind of way you want or you can just have your all your leaves green or if you find ones that are a different color you want to use, that will work perfectly fine. So here I'm showing you that that's the back side where I glued it down and I'm going to be gluing all the leaves and all the decorations to the front of it. Now this is my stack leaf wreath. I've made a ton of these in the past, but I realized I don't think I've shown you guys here on YouTube how I do this. So I'm going to go ahead and do it in this video. I'm piling up all the different colors and different shapes of leaves that will go with the sunflower. So here's one I made for my mother. And this is one wreath, but I'm going to show you it in three different positions. So this wreath is very versatile and you can hang it three different ways. Now the one I'm making now, the flower won't be as low and she hung hers in that last position with the flower at the top and that's what we're doing now. But I'm putting the flower a little higher on this one because I'm gonna be adding a butterfly to the bottom of it. So how I do this is I kind of fly by the seat of my pants like I do everything else. But I put down some layers of leaves underneath where I know my flower is going to go. And I wanted this one to spread out all across the top but still kind of be high up on the wreath form. So in order for you to figure out what configuration you want or if it's going to look right when it's stacked, you can do what I do is I put down a few and I glue those down and then I hold the flower over it to see if I like what it's going to look like. And most of the time, I have it pretty symmetrical. Sometimes if I'm being more whimsical or I'm adding more than one flower at the top or like a bow or something, I do not make it perfectly symmetrical. But for this one, I'm going for pretty symmetrical. It's never going to be perfect unless I really, really work at it. But it's going to be kind of close because all the leaves that come off of all of my projects, they're not all the same. They're not the same size. Some of them are a different width, even if they're the same type of leaf. So I don't want the orange to show all that much on this. I think it's too bright to have it be the main focus in the leaves. That's why I only did four of them. So I'm gonna be covering that up pretty much. But as you can see, I'm mimicking on both sides what I'm putting down. Now, you can do all this without gluing it down. You can just stack it up and in between each stacks that you're doing, if you want to make sure you get it exactly how you had it when you go to glue it down, you know, if you stack the leaves up to see if you like how it looks and you don't glue it down and then you have to take it apart to glue it down, you can take a picture with your phone in between each stack set of layers so you can go back and look at what you did so you can get it back that way. I don't normally do that but I've taught other people to do that and it works out really well because then you go well you know I think it looked better when I laid it down but I forgot exactly how I did this way you would have a reference. So I've stacked a ton of them in the leaves and you can see I move it around to make sure it's looking all right for me. And like I said before, it's not perfectly symmetrical, but it's really close. And here I'm adding just a few more leaves because I think the orange is popping out just too much for me. So I'm trying to cover up a little bit of it. When you're done with this, and unfortunately I did not show you this at the end, that top to this reef is going to stack out. It's a good two inches away from the wall, if not a little bit more. That's what I like for this. It stacks up and comes at you off of the reef form. So now I'm just going to glue down my flower in the center. I made sure I knew which direction I like for it to sit and I'm putting a ton of glue on it because if you just glue the center stem part, it will hang funny with all the leaves that are stacked up. I'm telling you, it's pretty thick. I do have a little footage of it from the side, but I didn't do a lot of it. Now I'm taking my signature die cut 
butterflies from Dollar Tree that I love to put on everything. You guys know me. If you don't, if you're new to my channel, I'm a butterfly girl. I love butterflies and I I tend to put everything that I make at least one or two butterflies on it in the spring and summertime. So if you don't like butterflies, you can omit this part and add something different to the bottom of your wreath. Or you can stack up all your leaves and your flower a little lower like on my mother's wreath and then you wouldn't need to add anything else. So I'm taking some floral wire in gold that I have from Joanne Fabrics. It's a big set and I'm bending it in half into a V shape. And then I'm curling the ends of it to make antennae for the largest butterfly here. I'm gonna take two of them that match out of that kit and put the antennae in the middle of it it's falling on me there and then i'm going to back them together so it looks like a butterfly on both sides because as you can see they are white on the back and then i'm going to take a little pair of scissors and i'm going to cut off the excess white where you can really see it because like everything from dollar tree they're just a little bit off and so even if you get them perfectly lined up it's going to be some excess white on there so I'm trimming that and then I'm bending it in half so it looks like it's flying and I'm going to hot glue it to the bottom of my wreath. Also, if you can see here, I took a couple smaller ones, didn't add any antennae to them and just put them up by the flower because I thought it was cute. And this is your final project. I think it turned out really nice. I love the coloring of this. You may not like the coloring of it, but you can also, Instead of the black and white ribbon, you could do a solid cover colored ribbon, you could do twine, you could do nautical rope like I did on my mom's in white or in the natural color to cover it. You can even use yarn or you can just leave your reform, paint it the color you want to paint it or put other flowers or leaves all the way around. I mean, it's so many ways to do this, but this is my stack leaf wreath and I'm in love with it. I'm in love with the butterfly at the bottom and I'm going to be hanging this on my front door. And that is it for this DIY. I think it turned out really pretty. Comment down below if you guys want to see me do more sunflower themed DIYs because you know I have a few more ideas floating around in my head. I think this one turned out really pretty and you guys know if you are familiar with my channel I normally say I'm pretty extra but this one I think it was just the right amount of whimsy for this and I think it turned out really really well also if you're new here go ahead hit that subscribe button and hang out with us for a while so you don't miss any of the upcoming DIYs I'm gonna have for you guys also, if you like, you can follow me over on Instagram. It's Lacey Space, the same way that it's spelled here. And I will catch all of you in my next video. Bye, loves.